Hi, um, today I went swimming, so I'm literally all chlorine down, and my hair's still wet, and everything like that, so I thought I'd do just an upload of, of my, how I do my makeup and everything, so I'm going to go quite close up today, Ooh. um, so, first of all, I apply a day cream, just a mini number seven one, um, I definitely make sure I've done this after I've gone to I go swimming because then my face is just fine and smooth again. Because when you swim in, it's a bit. Oh, I tell you what I'm going to be using. I'm using this, which is like a number seven thing. And what you do is you put it on like this. Put your hair up, and then it hides anything away of, from your makeup. So like, it's all applied, and it smells lovely. Kind of has a hint of sun cream, which I love. Next thing that I do, you guys are all probably going to think I'm free. I bought these today. They're called rattlers, and they're like rattling magnets. Just put take the price off there. And these are what they are, and they're like. <laughs> I used to love these as a kid, and like, and like, you can play around with them. I just love the sound. It says, "Hold hand and palm up. Place maggots horizontal cut. Watch that. Watch. Oh, that shouldn't have landed there." But it's really cool. I love them. I just saw them. I was like, I've got to buy them. So yeah, that's them. Just taking it all inside. Um, next thing, I'm just taking this coverage concealer because I always put coverage concealer underneath foundation, and then I put foundation on over, and then just to like a not the best coverage one over, which is probably worthless, but. Some days I try and have days without foundation, but, you know, sometimes it's nasty, but my cousin's coming around, so I thought I'd make an effort. Um, and then I'm just going to rub this in with a makeup sponge. This is a soft one, because I get a soft one to rub concealer in with. This is so much easier having all my hair on my face. I know I look silly, but... See how my face has changed already just from that. And then I'm just taking a something to wet. Just taking the same. Actually, no, no, I'm not. Can you see the difference? This one's hard. This one's so much softer. This one's not as soft. So I'm taking this one and applying my foundation. Blah, blah, blah. And I around my eyes and that, and around here I do it with my fingers because, and around my eyebrows because I don't want like to get in my hair and everything. And then, so after that, I spray a bit onto my ha back of my hand on my finger, and go a bit under. This foundation is quite good coverage, even though it's not a coverage foundation. Um, it covers, it covers a lot of blemishes. And you need a little mirror so you guys kind of get to see still. And then just up here and just around here. Up there, try and aim not for the eyebrows. And up here, try and aim for not getting in your hair. If you do, take the back end of a sponge that's not been used, like this bit, and rub that out, because like, just get that off, oh and here, this little place, I just only like to do a little bit around here, because, and then just take the brush and, I think that's quite, Actually, not as brown as it usually is, which is a good thing. 
Moving on now to this. What's that doing? This is the Kelly Brook Illuminating Concealer. I think Illuminating is quite good for. It's not the best on coverage, but it's quite good for just hiding the rest of the blemishes. Literally, you press it when you use it, and you just like cover up any other bits or bobs that you need to. Barely you need to do under your eyes because my other one side for that. I just realised I have a line of foundation there. Never have a line of foundation. But then you can just see the little flaps that to just cause a blemish. Oh, I forgot to say. This foundation's in 200 soft beige. The concealer's in 2 medium and it's correct concealer I took away. And this one is in. It's the shade tan. And I'll see you know it's £3.99. I'm just going to kind of correct. And that's done for a kind of bit of the face. And for powder. I use a really soft brush. Um, well, this is the softest I have because of the brand new brush that I ordered because they still haven't come yet. I'm literally using a little bit on the brush and just kind of. I need to use my. Uh, or sometimes I take the powder that's already on here, which I'm. This I hate these because they don't rub in very well. I think I'm a bit brown, but I'm not quite sure. Waste foundation if it is, cause and then it just gets a quick like layer. And you know you meant to do. I'm trying not to go too mad so my foundation doesn't look too. I'm just gonna clean this bit, clean this one. And um, literally, this one's huge. There we go, that's already done, oh, that's only all done with the skincare, apart from blusher, which I do this one with my fingers until my brushy brush comes, because I'm scared that I'll, see my fingers and just get it, and then sometimes I use this to just correct. anything and that's gone a bit wrong but I can correct that after next thing is eyes um, and I'm just going to eyeliner I'm just taking a normal eye oh so if I use oh the powder was in cream puff ivory and, and this one is in plum puff I think I don't think I've used anything else but that now. And then this one is called Coty. No, and it's seven five oh two two, and it's from just a. Oh no, it's not. It's called Hundred and One Magic. No, it's one. It's the first one they had. It's magic, and I need my. I'm gonna need my eye mirror for this. I'm going to buy some face wipes today, but I thought, no, I better not. I need to kind of remove this blusher as well, because the blusher went a bit peaked on. There we go, and there's the eyeliner. And I usually create a flick, but I like to create the flick with this, and it's the pen eyeliner. It's only a tiny little flick. Kind of just gives a bit of 
definition. Um, and then I don't use too much eyeshadow. I just use a light shade. Um, this light shade on here is called Peach Shades. And then I just kind of go over a bit there. Put that into the crease. Then just over the top. And I'm just taking this really nice, like, purpley colour. And that one is called Lilac Shade. That one's just going at the corner. This. Take that. And then I just take this brush and kind of give it a quick wipe. Quick. What's that? Mm. And then that's all. <coughs> Sorry, I usually use this one, this brush, but this one's gone a bit hard because I used it for foundation the other day. Um, and then after that, I take a 17 lip pencil and I just like kind of undertone that on. And then I take half of a Baby Lips Hydrate, which is just the normal one. Blend that in with then a Baby Lips Pink Punch over the top, which are very not very well pigmented, but are quite tinted. Shall I say this one? Tinted and smells delicious. Next is just a Estee Lauder Pure Pop Lip Gloss. It's Lovely, I love that. Creates a really nice way on your face. I mean, sometimes to that that look, I barely need any um, eyeshadow. But if I um, the foundation, um, the sky, But if I do, I just do a few flicks to the corner of this number seven. There we go. And then I think that is everything. I'm gonna take this off. Don't you think my face looks pretty orange compared to this bottle? This is what this bottle makes me but this is the light, so okay, thanks for watching. Bye!